One of the topics for a video that I would like to incorporate into my regular rotation for videos is forgotten gems or hidden gems at the drugstore. And that's what I'm bringing you today. I have 10 of them and I can't wait to show off what I got. Hey there friends. So this is a fun video that I have done very recently and you guys in a poll that I did on the community tab talked about how you would like to see more of what we have in our collection as YouTubers and not always the newest and latest and greatest. And I get that because we have so much makeup. You have a lot of makeup, a lot of makeup that is fantastic and we need to go over those still. So I'm going to bring you 10 and let's get right into it. The first thing that I absolutely love and I don't think people talk about them hardly ever any anymore are the little multi sticks from elf these are so good i'm going to get my glasses so that you can see what they are i do have this one which is let's see luminous berry i have luminous berry on my cheeks today and it's so pretty it has a very slight almost a neutral peach color in it but it's mostly that pretty berry tone the other one that i have right here is dazzling peony and it is lighter than that last one and definitely has the peachy pink tone to it right there and then my very favorite that i usually wear all the time is sparkling rose they have a ton of these colors these colors can be used on your cheeks they can be used on your lips you can use them on eyeshadow if you want to if you like that kind of pink color on your eyeshadow they're very workable and they're very buildable so you can buff them out as you need to and you can build them up as you need to I love these. I think they are very overlooked. They were some of the first cream blushes to be on the market because e.l.f. just does this kind of stuff way before everybody else does and then everybody else jumps on that bandwagon. I definitely think that these are a forgotten gem and that people need to start using them more, including me for sure. All right, the next one is one that I absolutely love. I have this on today. Recently, I've been going through my collection as I was showing that collection to you. I realized that there were so many good foundations in that drawer that I just had forgotten about. They get pushed back. They get overlooked because I'm always trying the new ones and trying to see what's best that's coming out. But this one from number seven, it's the Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation Hydrating and Age-Defying defi Medium Coverage Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF of 50. They were obviously duping the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I like this one better because the IT CC Cream, the colors of them, there weren't that many. There's a few more colors in the number seven. There weren't that many cool tones in the IT CC Cream as well. I felt like the It's CC Cream was a little bit heavier on my skin. I like a little bit lighter of a foundation. This one performs just like it in coverage, in not showing texture, in lasting, in not turning an orange color. It is so pretty. I can get at least eight to 10 hours of use on it before I notice any wear off. The break apart only happens when it's very humid. I will say that if you are somebody that is oily, this might not be for you. But if you're somebody that is anywhere from dry to normal to combo, you might really love this. This is one of my favorite foundations that looks absolutely gorgeous on mature skin and doesn't show up any texture whatsoever. So this is one that I really am so glad that I pulled it back out and I started using it because definitely a hidden treasure for me. Another one is this powder from L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This one is in neutral, I think it's N1, yes. And this powder is so nice and so pretty. I actually had this in my declutter bin and as I was just, you know, going over it with my finger and feeling it and realizing I really love this and I'm not decluttering it. And the reason is, is because I can be shiny or I can be to where it's a little bit warm and it just seems like I need a little bit of extra powder because everything is melting and I can put this powder on. It takes the shine down without ever drying. 
drying. I can use this on my under eyes. I've been taking all of my powders, pressed powders, loose powders to the to a puff and been using a puff. I'll link down below some puffs that I really love. These, this one is kind of old, but some new puffs that I really love from Amazon that are so affordable. But I've been enjoying it because when you do that, when you pull up your powder like that, you can take a puff and you can, did you see all of that go? You can flick off that puff so there's not that much powder on there. And then you can go in and you know put that on the puff is going to pick up some of that oil but it's also going to deposit the smallest amount of powder so it works so well with this l'oreal silky buttery set your makeup down doesn't feel like it's drying throughout the day i really love this i like the packaging on it it does give you a little puff underneath with the mirror underneath which is very handy to be able to throw that in your purse so this is one that i feel like people are overlooking it is an extremely extremely good powder i actually feel like this powder is up there with my beloved number seven powder and even that brand new color pop one so if you have this one you might want to dig it out and keep using it because it's really good the next one is from kiko milano this is their sculpting touch creamy stick contour and contour and this one is in chocolate i believe now I don't hear anybody talk about this, hardly ever. I mean, I think I've heard a handful of YouTubers talk about it, but I like this because it is that color that has that little bit of red undertone to it. You can see that there's quite a bit of warmth in there, but honestly, there's not enough warmth in there to deter me from wearing it. So I will just take this brush. By the way, this is another one. <laughs> This is one of those finds at the drugstore that has been forgotten. I will tell you about this brush in just a second. So you can just take any brush. This is the e.l.f. Small Stipple brush, and it buffs out so pretty, and it will be there. It just kind of rubs into your skin. It melts into your skin, and it just looks so gorgeous. I wear it up here in my hairline. I wear it across my um, cheek line right there to give me a little bit of a contour, and of course across my jowl and down into my neck neck but this is a really great one it can be built up and then once it's there it does feel a little bit tacky because it's not going to sit down to a powder but if you're somebody that has mature skin you might really like that because if it sets down to a powder it's going to make us look more dry I like it. It builds up really, really well, and it just buffs and is gorgeous. So this is a one that I feel like has been forgotten. Now, the next one is the brush that I just talked about. This is a small stipple brush that I learned about from Emily Noel about probably seven or eight years ago. This brush is tiny. It's got a tiny little head on it. It is the stipple bris bristles, which means it's dense down in there. And then the top of it is very feathery. This little bugger will do so much. It is beautiful to do your contour with because it has those stippling brushes on it that's going to just buff it out like crazy. Here's the blush. I can buff the blush out like crazy if I want to. It's just one of those brushes that is so versatile. And I usually have two of them around, but this got pushed to the back of the drawer. We have so many beautiful brushes coming out all the time. I love my BK Beauty, my Refer brushes. There's some Sigma brushes I love, but we forget that at the drugstore, there can be some fantastic brushes. And this is a little workhorse brush that I think is so, so good. And for three or $4, you just can't go wrong in picking up a brush that you can stipple everywhere and blend everything out seamlessly. It's just that good. What I'm wearing today on my lips is probably one of my favorite hit Hidden gems at the drugstore or forgotten gems because you can't walk into this is from Maybelline by the way and it's a lipstick you can't walk into Walmart anymore you might be able to walk into Walgreens still and pick this one up I'm not 100% sure on that I'm gonna put a little bit more on so you can see this is a Maybelline lipstick and this is and this is called on the mauve it is a very cool toned lipstick that has a lot of that purpley mauvey undertone it's like a deepened nude lip color i love this because i think that if you are pale you can sheer this out a little bit if you're medium it's perfect if you're very deep you're gonna like wearing it it's gonna make your lips look a little bit brighter have a little bit more depth i feel like this is a color that is has been so overlooked 
I buy these tubes over and over again, just like Warm Me Up. Warm Me Up is my one of my favorites from the drugstore from Maybelline. Maybelline does some fantastic lipsticks. This is not matte. This is a very creamy formula, satin to creamy formula. So you are gonna get a little bit of sheen from it, but wow. I love these and especially Maybelline just goes through their colors very quickly unless they're their old school colors that have been around forever that everybody loves. So I feel like this is very forgotten gem at the drugstore. Another hidden gem at the drugstore is one of my very favorite eyeliners ever from Profusion. This is the Wing It eyeliner. Look at how tiny this is. I have shown this a lot on my channel, but I do not hear people talk about this on anybody else's channel. That is the tiniest wing, and I use a felt liner to line the top eyelash line for me and line as tight as I can so that it doesn't detract from my eyelid, and it just gives those lashes on top a definition, and it's great. So I'm gonna try really hard to get it very, very thin so you can see how good it is. Do you see how tiny that is? But if you need it to be thicker, you can do that too. But you can just take the very tip of it and use that very tip of it to be the thinnest, tiniest line and it sticks around. I mean, this will be on when I take off my makeup at night and my eye, it will definitely still be there. I can look and go, oh, that's still my eyeliner, still got that on. This is so good. And again, I think it's like 350 or 450. I can't remember, but it is wonderful. And another forgotten gem at the drugstore. Let's go back to lips for just a second. And that is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner. This is an automatic liner. I love that about it. It's very creamy like the ones that I love from the Sephora collection, the gel, the gel Rouge. But what I love about this one is the color. The color of this, it matches this mauve really good. What this is called is Gone Grayish. It gives you the ability to paint outside the lines and give yourself a wonderful, beautiful pout. I've been using one from the Sephora collection, but I found this again and I was like, Holy moly, this is beautiful. Those two go together so well because you get that contour from that gray looking shadow. It's not really gray. It really is kind of a, it's just a very deepened neutral nude color. So you get that ability to be able to paint outside the lines there and then on the top. And it just makes my pout look so much bigger and so much prettier. It's extremely creamy. So it's not gonna be one that will wear like it's there all day long. You can just pat it with a little bit of powder, then you have it there all day long. Obviously that is a trick that most of us realize that we can do with our lipstick. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, do your lip liner, do your lips, and then take a tissue and pat a little bit of powder on there with either a powder brush or a powder puff like I showed you. Then you have kind of more of a matte look, and then you can go over again with a gloss or another coat of lipstick. This is a beautiful, beautiful liner. And yes, I do, I do feel like it is absolutely forgotten and I hate that it's forgotten because this is such a good color for so many people. All right, we're on number seven, and that is one that I actually le learned about from Emily Noel as well, and that is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions Lash Mascara, Lash Blast Mascara. It's what I have on today. This is one of those mascaras that I feel like it doesn't matter how many times you go in to your lashes, you won't get clumps. And I love that about it. It makes my lashes look thicker and it makes them look longer without any, you know, bunching together or getting them to where you have like three different spreads of your eyelashes because they're all clumped so much together. Let me show you the wand. It has barely a curve on it. I love this one that says it's extensions because you still get the volume, but then you get that great length as well. And I, this is one that I, found again in my drawer and the one that I had was dried out and I went and I grabbed this one because I'm like, oh, this is definitely a forgotten gem. I have bought this so many times and I heard about it from her for years and then she kind of switched over to a couple of other ones, but this is a fantastic mascara, mascara that lengthens and lifts and separates what, what lashes you do have. I have longer lashes, but they're not very thick, so it's gonna give you a lot of volume. I love this. It's definitely a forgotten gem for me. This one from L'Oreal is the original, not the new ones that they came out with that there are the plumping ones, but the original Infallible Pro Gloss, the eight hour formula. 
I don't know what they did with this, how they worked this, what they did that this formula is very lip gloss like, but it does stick around. Usually when you have a lip gloss, you've only got it on for, oh gosh, you might get three or four hours out of it if you're lucky, but this lip gloss will stick around and it's beautiful. I mean, it is a lip gloss that you can wear on its own. Let me show you the color of it on its own. If I have any place I can show you, let's show you right down here. And this one is called blush and you can wear it on its own. So it's got just a tiny bit of a pink cast in it. It doesn't have any glitter or anything like that. It's just a nice, pretty sheen to it, but it really does last forever on your lips. And I love wearing it on days when I'm doing a very natural makeup day because you can throw it on your lips and it's there all day and you don't have to worry about a reapplying lipstick lip gloss lipstick they do have this in colors like solid colors cream colors and then they have the different kind of metallic looking colors or the sheer colors with just a little bit of sheen in them i like those very much now the pumping ones that they just came out with i'm not as sold on those as i was on these and i had to pull this out because people have been talking about these pro lip glosses but they're talking about the plumping ones i feel like the originals are so much better so definitely a forgotten gem at the drugstore one of my favorite eyeshadows that were ever made are the l'oreal infallible single pot eyeshadows these ended up coming in just tons and tons of colors and they don't really sell these very much in drugstores i have seen them occasionally at rite aid i have seen them at cvs but walgreens walmart those kind of places very rarely do i ever see these but these are the most beautiful the shades are on the back so you can see the colors that are on the back and this is what i have on today i took this silver color this color, let me get my glasses, and I don't know what happened to my glasses before. Excuse me if you saw how dirty they were. This color is called Liquid Diamonds, and it is just a beautiful silvery color. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I wiped my hand right there so you could see how pretty these are. So this is Liquid Diamonds, and it just has this beautiful light catching property. This, this was probably one of the very first beautiful metallic shadows that were ever made these are so pretty my favorite one ever is called golden sage and it is this green color and these have a stopper in them that actually keep it's almost like a loose pigment that's being kept down there with the stopper so this one is golden sage incredibly beautiful look at that color oh my gosh so this one's golden sage i love wearing that one on my lid it gives just a beautiful reflect of kind of a kind of an olive cross between a forest green on that one so pretty and then also on my lids out here a little bit is timeless blue spark this one is kind of a brighter blue as you can see right there timeless blue spark oh wow look at that Woo! so dang pretty look how pretty that is wow okay and then the last one that i have is called midnight blue and midnight blue is what i actually took in my outer part of my eyes right there to do my eyeliner and these are my favorite colors that i have kept around forever i'll show you midnight blue just kind of swatched across the top there all of these are reflective so all of these have that super metallic pretty beam to them but i love to wear them all over because they have that beautiful color to them i'm just trying to put my lids back on these before the color goes everywhere so they have all kinds of colors they have purples and pinks and more blues and they have a bright silver one and there's just so many colors and they still are around on amazon and they're also around on different places that kind of buy up what the cosmetics lines don't have anymore beautiful 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 shadows you can't go wrong whichever one you pick up you can use as a liner you can do it across your lids let me just show you what i've got going on here you can see that how the colors are i did a transition color and then everything else was those three shadows and i just i love them i think they're so pretty
And that's it. That's it for the 10 different products that I feel like were hidden gems at the drugstore. I'm going to try and make this a series as much as I possibly can because I really do feel like there's so much in our stash that we love, gets pushed to the back, gets forgotten about. So I hope that you did enjoy it. I will link my top and my jewelry and my fingernail polish today for you guys so that you can know where I got all of them from. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and a part of my day, of course. I appreciate your love and your support and always being here. You have no idea how much it means to me. Those comments, they mean more than you could ever, ever imagine. Thank you. I love you. I will see you very soon. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs>